weaken one and beat the other. Sometimes since the fans have seen the field, the opponents in the field. Remains standing for the bridge. Putting down. Watch out! Cruz off the second. Along with Armando Alvarez at the same time. We've got a triple threat match to start things off. When you talk about three of the most impressive of the high-risk warriors of the squared circle that are rising stars in the scene, it doesn't get any bigger than this. Armando Alvarez must defend his hybrid championship against two challengers at once. How will he handle the pressure of being in the ring with former champion, the hot villain, Percy Drews, and Austin Michael Baldridge, AMB, who has shown his hybrid potential in a pro wrestling and a lucha libre scene as Armando Alvarez says I'm not ready to start but in a triple threat environment one does not have to be involved in the outcome that means the one left out indeed could be Armando and he could lose his championship so he better keep his eyes open at what action takes place in the ring and be showing his agility early according to the contact two ways up and down what a Drew's got rocked as he falls to the floor out here. Hey, look at AMB! He might take flight early! Watch out! My body attack! Down goes Percy Drew's on the floor! Oh, watch out! Oh, Armando sent AMB head first into the post on the near side. Percy Drew's is still down on the here. On the camera side. And Armando's taking the fight to AMB on the outside. Vicious knife edge chop. And Armando is an opportunist and he's a cheap shot artist. If he gets an opportunity to win using that 16 and a half inch shoe, he'll do it. And be sent into the corner turnbuckle. This is a sudden death environment. Whoever is the individual who can weaken one and beat the other is the one that will win this match and become the hybrid champion. But right now, this whole entire hybrid division belongs to Armando Alvarez. He has apparently been champion for darn near hundreds of days, apparently. And look at that cheap shot straight to the eyes. It's been a long time since the fans have seen all field wrestling. And this the return. In November 2024, super kick on the money. Armando Alvarez has grounded Percy Cruz. Our official Kevin Woods says it was only a one count. Armando, the typical challenge of having two opponents at once, but he has survived the odds against multiple opponents in the past. German suplex with a bridge, and AMB had a break it up in time, otherwise Armando might have been down for the count right there. Every match tonight could steal the show, and this is just an example of it. What a knee smash! Percy's been rocked! As he tries to remain standing, Northern Light suplex with a bridge! And a big stop by the spit stepper. Armando Alvarez, living true to his word, putting down the opposition. And there it is, the sky high neck breaker with a release. What a two count there. Armando Alvarez, in an anything goes environment, whether it's hardcore or not, whether it's pro wrestling or Lucha Libre, he's proven himself inside of the squared circle. And in all your wrestling, he's been a bully and a nuisance, and he's been dominant inside of the ring against several opponents. He has an in your face style, known for striking takedowns and submissions, and he can hit the hands of Gary out of nowhere, a curb stop or more. Low blows, foreign objects, he will do anything to win. That's why Armando Alvarez has been the champion, and why he intends to remain the champion. And in a promotion that calls themselves All Heel Wrestling, everybody's willing to bend the rules ever so slightly in order to win. Playing choke, apparently, exercise by Armando Alvarez on AMP. And look at this display of strength. Percy Cruz lifting two at the same time. Watch out! A double adjustment with some attitude. Cruz on top. Oh, well, two count there on Armando. Multiple choice question. Who can you beat? Not AMB and not Armando. You better try again, Percy. This is not your night yet. You're going to have to do more to these two opponents if you expect to win in this environment. He wants his title back. He is a former hybrid champion. Misdirection offense, so lightning quick. Great kicks. Excellent well 
well balanced attacks. He has battled with hardcore elements in the past himself. And he has proven why he is a featured attraction in all heel wrestling. AMP wipes up Percy with a super kick. Down he goes. Swing and a miss. Wow, the handstand into the cutter. Armando's been rocked. This could be the end of the road. No, nope, Percy broke it up right there. Two counts says our official. This match continues. Lots of potential for high risk, high flying in this battle. Everyone is willing to do whatever it takes. Big pickup, an electric chair scenario. An AMP got dropped back right there on his face as Drews delivers the vicious kick right underneath. That left arm, the undercarriage of the rib cage. Drews off the second. Springboard cutter, one of his signature moves. Percy Drews is on fire and might have the hybrid division on lockdown. No, two count there. Armando broke it up. Quick roll! Well, Armando steal it here! No, two count there. Pump kick landed. Percy was trying to lift his head upright to see what Armando was going to do, and he just ate the abuse right to the side of his jaw. And AMB ready to break the count, but Percy kicked out in time. Back and forth environment, hybrid championship, a title that has seen a lot of violence in the past and some incredible moments that have been human highlights virtually anywhere and everywhere. And B flips it over and in, and there's a destroyer! How is Percy still standing? Big kick from behind! Watch this! My goodness! The plunge and pedigree destroyer on top of it! No, not even close. As soon as Armando is within arm's reach, he can break up the count, and this match will continue. But as Percy Drew's been eliminated from the formula, is it possible that Percy Drew's has lost his chance to be the champion after what AMB has just done, along with Armando Alvarez at the same time? It's the cutter! AMB with his awesome kamikaze offense has just wiped out Armando, and he's going to take a risk as he's climbing all the way to the top!